Well, it's something not a lot of people do these days because they don't have to. A lot of kids walk to school. They've got a bus ride or somebody brings them. But this is National Walk to School Day. So many schools in our area are seeing their kids hit the pavement this morning. Yeah, and for the Syracuse City School District, it's also a chance to launch a new initiative. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc joining us now live outside of Franklin Elementary School. So, Julia, a couple of Syracuse City schools are taking part in this today, right? They are, Dan and Jennifer. It's all part of a national effort walking to school on this day to promote a healthy lifestyle, promoting exercise, but also safety for kids. Now, today, students going to Franklin Elementary School and Dr. Weeks in the city of Syracuse will be guided by police, administrators, and community leaders on their walk to the classroom. You're now looking at a video from a previous event here, but this Wednesday morning, they're also adding a twist. The Syracuse City School District is launching a new initiative called the Safer Route program after research done by the city and county with suggestions from parents in the area they've come up with the safest route to school for kids who go to Franklin and Dr. Weeks now from here on out students will have signs to help them guide them along these new routes now for general safety there are some recommendations it's recommended that kids walk to school with either a parent or a friend that they wear bright colors and that they don't take any shortcuts so the, for these kids at Dr. Uh, Weeks and Franklin Elementary School. It's important to follow those new routes with those new signs. Live in Syracuse, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.